Hey guys, it's Lucy here. And Kelly. And welcome to another episode of Life is Sweet. Okay, so a few weeks back we sat here and talked lots and lots and lots about our favourite wrestling memories from yesteryear, from That's way before we came to America. And a lot of those favourite matches and memories involved Chris Travis. Now, sadly, this past March, Trav passed away um, after losing his battle to cancer. And on September 30th, it is going to be Chris Travis Day, in the hopes that we can get Chris Travis Day trending worldwide, all over Twitter and social media, mm -hmm. and hopefully the WWE will pay attention so that next year at the Hall of Fame, he will be the recipient of the Warrior Award. Also on Chris Travis Day, you can donate £5 by texting TRAV01 five pounds to 770 to help send a donation to the Cavendish Cancer Care, the place that looked after Trav during his battle with cancer. And make sure you do that all the week leading up to it, just get donating yep. because we are trying to help them smash their target. Alternatively, if you would just like to donate and send them a little something to help, then you can visit cavcare.org.uk and make a donation and learn more about this wonderful organisation. We will leave all the links and information below for how you can donate, find out more about Cavendish Cancer Care and how you can spread the word on Chris Travis Day. And in preparation for Chris Travis Day, we wanted to share some of our favourite pictures and our favourite memories of our time spent with Trav. So for this time of year, it's fall, it's autumn, so everything feels very, very cosy and all you want to do is have hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. And we have a very funny memory of our time with Trav when he came round to our house at Christmas time and we made hot chocolate, but we decided to make proper hot, uh, proper hot chocolate. We wanted chocolate. to experiment too yes. much to Trav's confusion as and to what we were no, doing. No, but this is where the funny thing is, we melted Probably like we melted chocolate. I think we put milk maybe into this chocolate, Cadbury um, chocolate, so it's very sweet yeah. and very like it's delicious in bar form. Well, we just got a saucepan and literally melted this chocolate, poured it into a thing before it actually started to like harden again. We were like, Here you go, Trav, hot chocolate. Hot Yay, chocolate. festive Christmas. And he sat there, bless him. And I swear, he was like, no, I'm going to drink this. And we were like, oh, no, too sweet. And we maybe had like about this much. And he sat there nursing this mug of hot chocolate. Giant mug and of hot chocolate. And he was like, mmm, this is like, and he kept looking at us to go, no, it's good. And we felt so bad because we felt like he didn't want to not drink it. But at the same time, it was so, so sweet. So now we're, tra we're on the Did mission. Did finish it up? I feel like I want to say I feel like he tried. He was very cute and he, ve he was very like I feel like quiet. he tried. So yes, every time mm -hmm. we have hot chocolate now and it's too sweet, we can't help but think about that memory because it's just like no, we need to perfect the art of making a hot chocolate that's not overly sweet and just a bunch of melted chocolate. Yeah. Our second and one of our favorite Chris Travis memories, which we simply absolutely adore in every way and just it makes us beam every time we think about it. Our Nana and Grandad are Italian. And it used to be very, very hard for us growing up when our friends would come around and visit. And we'd sit there for an hour, we'd be chatting away to yeah. our nana and granddad like nobody's business. And then we'd come away and our friends would sit there, would, would turn to us yeah. and say, what did they say? And we'd be like, what do you mean what did they say? We were having a conversation yeah. with nana and granddad. What, how, did you not understand yeah. any of it? And we'd be and like, how do like, you not understand uh, any of it? And one day we remember taking him over to so nana and granddad. Our 21st birthday, it was our 21st yeah. birthday. And we took him over to nana and granddad's and Nana does a thing where if like we're helping her in the kitchen getting coffees and teas yeah. where she panics and she goes go go see your friend go see and Nana bless her go see Trav go see Trav yeah. don't leave him with granddad don't leave him with granddad and we're like no Nana he's fine but the funny thing was as soon as we walked in the room or we like stood at the door getting ready to go in he was genuinely having a conversation, conversation with Granda, like legit talking yes, to him. Because the Formula and One was on TV yeah. and, and Trav was talking to him about okay, Formula no, One. And no. once you get Granda talking about a subject he likes, then you're fine. And you might nod a few times as if to go, okay. Yeah. But Trav was literally having a conversation with him about Formula One and Granda was just over the moon and so happy. And to this and day, we, even though it was our 21st birthday, Nana still remembers when he came round and what yeah. shirt he was wearing. She remembered that. The other day when I was chatting to her, she actually said to me, the tall boy that came with the red t-shirt on. And I was like, yes, Nana. Because I think they were remembered. just blown away. And we were. We, I think we had to stand at the door for a few minutes ago. I'm just not going to interrupt the conversation. Like, I'll just let them carry on. So that was something that was just incredibly near and dear to us. And that was just so special for us to have 
you know, people connect with our Nana and Grandad because we love them so much. Yeah. So those are two of our favourite memories for now, but we will be sharing plenty more on September 30th, Chris Travis Day. Make sure you do too. Hashtag Chris Travis Day. Put it everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> So now we're going to leave you with some of our favourite pictures of Trav and don't forget to donate, don't forget to check out the links below and see what you can do and until next time, keep smiling and always dream big. Bye guys!